All right, today we're going over NVIDIA control panel settings. Uh, what you're going to want to do is go to this file, which is going to be in the description. You're going to download both of these. You have NVIDIA Profile Inspector and this mvcp.nip. You're going to run this as administrator, the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Then you're going to drag this nvcp.nip into here. It's going to say imported successfully. Hit OK. Hit Apply Changes. Close this. Go to your NVIDIA control panel. And in here for adjust image with adjust image settings with preview, you're gonna choose the middle one. Use the advanced 3D image settings. Manage 3D settings. When you imported that profile, it should do this all for you, but this is what mine looks like here. Um, I'm actually using G-Sync right now. I just imported the profile, so it took off G-Sync, but I'm just gonna reapply my G-Sync settings. If you're not using G-Sync, then you'll want to put this to fix or fresh, or you might not even have monitor tech if you have a BenQ monitor. But G-Sync, it's really up to you. I'd only use it on 360 hertz. V-Sync on with G-Sync. But if you're not using G-Sync, you'll want to turn V-Sync off and change this to fixed or fresh. I have a whole video going over all this stuff. I'm just going to apply this. Uh, for configure surround and physics, you're going to choose your graphics card here. Change resolution, you want to be under PC, 1920 by 1080, and choose your refresh rate here, the highest available one. Uh, adjust desktop color and settings. This is personal preference. I play digital vibrance on 80%, but that's just up to you. Adjust desktop size and position. If you're playing native, you want to go no scaling like this. But if you're playing stretched, you want to go full screen, override. If you, some of you might not have display scaling, just GPU scaling, that's fine. But if the display scaling option is available for you, you'd want to choose display scaling over GPU scaling. Um, for adjust video color settings, you're going to click use uh, the with the NVIDIA settings and change this from limited to full. And for adjust video image settings, you're going to choose use the NVIDIA settings for both of these and make sure they're at 0%. That's it for NVIDIA Control Panel. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. You can also change like anisotropic filtering to application controlled and stuff. Again, all personal preference, but these are the settings I use here. And you'll want to keep low latency mode off for Valorant because, um, what am I trying to say? NVIDIA Reflex overrides low latency mode and it's there's been known issues where if you have them both on at the same time, it can cause stuttering and some input lag so it's best to just leave this off and just turn on plus boost on in game uh yeah that's it thanks for watching